Supernatural. This is season uh, three, episode nine, I believe. Uh, I think it's M- Malchus Malfarkium. Yeah, we're just. Gonna I don't know. Yeah. Sounds like a spell. Yeah, maybe. maybe? Uh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, anyway, last episode was the Christmas episode. Uh, we left off with uh, Dean and uh, Sam stopping a. Uh, what was it? They were a god, you know, like uh, one of those. Uh, the Vikings used to pray to, you know, and they were a pagan god. That's what it was. They were yeah. a pagan god. Yeah. Um, it was yeah, fun. It was a fun episode. Um, yeah. I read someone's comment that Dean, when he was drinking that eggnog, I guess it was really spiked. Oh, you know what? I Someone do... said that. I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. But... You know what? There's something about this show that these the, those two actors, they do pranks a lot on people. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm sure that's something that he would do, like spike his shit with, like... Egg dog. Not that shit is your mom, guys. She don't watch her video. I hope that. But move her. <laughs> he always brings that up because one year for, was it Thanksgiving or Christmas? Yeah. He, she made you a alcoholic, you know, egg dog. And she just has a heavy hand with her alcohol and she gave it to you. But you make, you make it sound like she's like an alcoholic. Well, she's not an alcoholic, no. But, but I do like the, because she makes really good eggnog. I would say this. She does make really good run, uh... Um, I think she gives you brandy, brandy, brandy yeah. and eggnog. It was really good. I just basic her, drink, what have you. but it's just she yeah. just is a heavy-handed with yeah. the brandy. So um, also, um, we also found out the the necklace too that he always wears in all these episodes. Sam gave it to him, so I thought it was a very sweet moment too um, about them, and also more about his dad being kind of a fucking asshole. Just like who does the show? Is, they don't even give their kids a happy Merry Christmas, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, who, uh, Dean? Yeah. Stole Christmas presents. Yeah. I thought like that's just to give his too. brother. Yeah. You know. Uh, I like the fl- I like the moments when they do the flashbacks with them uh, with their kids. I enjoyed it, it very much. They do much. a lot of every yeah. now and then. I always say this though: um, the actor who plays Dean, mm-hmm. I don't think he's a really good portrayal of Dean. I think he's kind of a bad actor. But I think the guy who plays Sam. Does a really spot on impression mm. of uh, I think older. So Sam. those those kids that yeah. do, are they they play them throughout. Yeah, um, they did it before too. Remember when Sam was sick? I forgot. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Um, I just think that the kid who plays Sam does a really good job of playing Sam. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I think the guy who plays Dean. That I don't really see Dean in that kid, but I see Sam. I feel like he was kid. really mean to him. Yeah. During Christmas, yeah. like before he before he got in presents. Yeah. I feel like he was being kind of a shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, uh, yeah, I think that's about it, really. So uh, let's just dive into this episode. If you guys want to follow me, actually, you know what to do. Check out the Patreon. The only in the description down below. And let's just dive into this bad boy. That is just a terrible, terrible party. Was this one really beautiful woman there? You should have gone home with her. I did. Mm-hmm. So let's go dive. 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 let us Oliver Tito coming out. He here talk in Del Bolk. Yeah. You, 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 you don't want to swallow them. In Del Bolk. Is she gonna be dead? Or she have no teeth? She's dead. You could bleed out from that. Oh, so she stabbed the thing. Yeah. I would imagine you could probably choke on the blood, maybe. No one can explain it. Well, that's what the protocol into us, Mr. Dutton. But the CDC, that's disease control, right? Some kind of virus. Oh, that's a new one. Um, what's it called? You know, like, it's not like a scary dream that you have, like, yeah. your, your teeth fall out or something. I did tell you about that a couple nights ago, that I had a dream that my teeth came out. No, but, like, that's, like, a common dream yeah. people have. I wonder if this is anything kind of like that. Um, it's a hex. A hex bag. What? No. Back. Oh, gross. Yeah. There are bird bones, rabbit's teeth, this cloth is probably cut from something Janet doesn't know. So we're thinking witch. Uh, yeah. He hates witches. I hate witches. Yeah. <laughs> They're always spewing their bodily fluids everywhere. Pretty much. It's creepy. You know, it's downright unsanitary. Yeah, well, 
someone definitely had it out for Janet Dunn. So what are we thinking? We're uh, looking for some craggy old Blair bitch in the woods? No, it could be anyone. Blair <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, woman, that's a problem. You're a human, like everyone else. Wait, how are we going to find him? This wasn't random. Someone in Janet Dunn's life had an ugly axe to grind. Oh, is there a bug? Ew. Is this pig balls? What? Is this the guy? The husband? Yeah. Or, I think he's gonna Oh, out. she's doing it? This person? Yeah, that's what I said. Is it her? Yeah, I knew it was her. Oh. Because her... I, I recognize her. Dinner was cooked for you, Paul Arthur Dutton. Oh. Did he have an affair with her or something? Oh, that could be his wife. Ooh, is he eating maggots? Kill me, just don't fuck with our food. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. I would definitely sue the place whoever gave that to me. <laughs> oh, brother. I've heard it burn, right? Yeah. Forced to do it or something? Or maybe it's like uh, she was going, she saw this whole thing. I don't know. Huh. That's a curveball. <laughs> yeah, that's a curveball. Yeah. Little... Like she was working some heavy weight evil here. Yeah. Oh, Dog. shit. <laughs> is that a dog or a rabbit? Freaking witches. Seriously, <laughs> man. Come on. It's fluffy, too. Because we know where she got the rabbit's teeth. Why does a rabbit always get screwed in the deer? <laughs> Poor little guy. Poor little guy. You know, she got Janet Dutton. Thought she finished off Paul. Decided to cap herself and make it a spur and lover's hat trick. Maybe. I mean, this doesn't exactly look like the TV room of a bright and stable person, you know? Yeah. No? Oh, she has. She's being hexed to do it. Yeah, uh, so someone hexed her. Looks like we got a hit, huh? A little yeah. witch on witch violence? I guess. But I think maybe we got a coven on our hands. Oh, a coven. Ooh, a coven. Yeah. Okay. The police just took away your body, and what, we're just gonna pretend it didn't happen? We loved Amanda. It's true. But we know that she was a little unstable. Also true. And we they have did it. that she probably <laughs> killed Janet Dunn. Just don't spit out their teeth all of a sudden. We have to stop. We can't stop. But people are dying. <sighs> Amanda killed herself, yes. And yes, she killed Janet. And think about what book club has gotten us. Hmm? Your husband's promotion? That little trip to Hawaii that you won? And what about me? My home pottery business is finally <laughs> off and okay. No one cares about your ugly ass pottery. <laughs> so are they like book of shadows? They found a book and then they did the did the, 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 the yeah, research was, on it. They probably don't even know what they're doing. Actually I bet you it was something else they're summoning. Playing up on Amanda Burns death, going around the neighborhood talking to her neighbors and stuff like that. But didn't she I mean she killed herself, right? Maybe, maybe. And we heard you were friends with the deceased, is that right? Do you have any idea of better practices? It was littered with satanic paraphernalia. The regular Black Sabbath. No, but, but she was an Episcopalian. Well, uh, what's the hour? I'm pretty that? sure she was using the wrong Bible. Talbot, Elizabeth is a little upset. Of course, Miss 
Mrs. Renee Van Allen. Would you like me to spell it for you? <laughs> um, this Amanda business. <laughs> why, why does she have to say her full name? Bye. <laughs> now they're gonna do a yeah. hex on them. Probably, I won't be surprised. I've got a good run lately. I've gone up a few tax brackets. I won almost too many raffles. You do. Kind of thing a little black magic always helps with. Yeah. I don't think she's alone either. It looks like Mrs. Renee Van Allen. <laughs> <laughs> craft contest she's in the yeah. If they killed the nut job, should we uh, thank them or what? They're working black magic too, Dean. They need to be stopped. I mean, they just kill each other. Stopped like stopped? Humans, eh? They're murderers. Burn which burn. <laughs> okay, so basically, <laughs> You have to get out of town. So this is Ruby, huh? Never had the pleasure. Hey. Get in the car and don't look back. Why? I don't understand. Hey, that's tough. We can take care of you kitchen witches, thanks. I'm not talking about witches, you jackass. Witches are whores. <laughs> I'm talking about who they serve. Oh, they serve someone. They get the power from demons. Yeah. And there's one here now. Oh, she's messing with your head. God knows why. That's who they are. I'm telling you. And I'm telling you to shut up, bitch. I'm sorry. Ooh. Why are you even a part of this conversation? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he's my brother, you black-eyed skank. Oh, right, right. And you care about your brother so much. That's why you're checking out in a few months, leaving them all alone? No! Oh, Ooh, damn. Of course she's gone. All right, they want us dead. We want them dead. Oh, that's funny. I remember that demon trick in Ohio, Casey. You didn't want her dead. Yeah, well, she wasn't stringing me along like a fish on a hook. No one's stringing me along. Whatever works. Dean, if she wants us dead, all she has to do is stop saving our lives. Look, we have to start looking at the big picture, Dean. Start I don't know, but they, they could be all ulterior motive. It moves ahead. She's saving you. By the way, you seem less and less worried about offing people. You know, it used to eat you up inside. Yeah, and what has that gotten me? Nothing, but it's just what you're supposed to do, okay? We're supposed to, to drive in the freaking car and freaking argue about this stuff. You know, you go on about the sanctity of life and all that crap. I'm worried. Say I'm worried because you're not acting like yourself. Yeah, you're right. I'm not. I don't have a choice. That's the way I see it. If I'm going to make it, if I'm going to fight this war after you're gone, then I got to change. Change into what? Into you. Oh. Uh, so that explains his attitude. Oh, wait. Maybe you're right. <sighs> it's coming, man. It's got to be coming. <sighs> What? There's a car? No, I think it's under there somewhere. But this is a motel or this is his house. I can't find it. No. Ooh. 
Ooh, she did. Did she just kill her? Yeah. Look, you got me. Who are you? Funny story, actually. You remember all those dark demonic forces you prayed to when you swore your servitude? Just who did you think you were praying to? Yeah, you're right. You're just praying to someone, yeah. You sold yourself to me. I call bullshit on them because it was misleading because they didn't know. Well, that's how they get you. But that's how I'm saying that it's not real. Yeah, because they didn't know that they were gonna throw souls. If they knew it, then yeah, take those souls to hell. But she didn't know it, right? Well, it's like party in the fire print. You know, not at all. You're not our Messiah. We don't believe in you. But there's a new leader rising in the West. Mm. A real leader. That's the worst of that on Sam. The one who's gonna tear this world apart. Bye bye. She got her monologue. She's gonna be dead. Wait. Oh, mm. she came by again. You made it out of the gate. Impressive. It was a bitch of a fight, wasn't it? Doors of hell only open for so long. Mm. What do you want, Ruby? I've been lost without you. Take me back. Okay. Let me serve you again. Oh. I've wanted it. I've wanted you for so long. <laughs> but then again, you always were a lying whore. Damn. <laughs> and everyone's calling her a whore and bitch and all these things. Like, I'm not gonna her, actually. You're really telling me you threw in your chips with Abbott and Costello here? Oh, yeah. A long time ago, Ruby here was a witch. Of course, that was when you were human. Oh, mm. and then she turned into a demon. Oh, so she was one of the people who good for her souls. Didn't want your friend. Monye Vala Force. Oh shit. Uru Ugiraya Lua. I guess you could sit her back in hell. Huh? Forza. Legitimus Imper Forza. Corum Potestate Infernalis. Did she go to the TP? Oh, the battle. Oh. She tried, I mean. To give her maybe a few seconds to do something. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Damn. This is shaking? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty. <laughs> he shanked her. Super yeah. bad. I think a, uh, Dean should apologize to her. It's a devil may care after all. Supposed to believe? I don't believe in the devil. You were human once, you died. You well, went to hell. Yeah. How long ago? Back when the plague was big. Oh, yeah. okay. So all of them? But every damn demon? They were all human once? Mm -hmm. Most of them have forgotten what it means. Or even that they were. That's what happens when you go to hell, Dean. That's what hell is. Yeah. Forgetting what you are. There's no way of saving me from the pit, is there? No. Oh. Why'd you tell Sam that you could? I needed something to help him get past the... The demon thing? It's pretty hard to get past. You need to help me get him ready for life without you mm. to fight this war on his own. Mm. Okay. Why do you want us to win? I'm not like that. I don't know why. I, I wish I was, but I'm not. I remember what it's like. To be human. Well, what's like? Being human. Hmm. That was a good one. 
That one was good. It was good to see Ruby and, yeah. um, you know, we finally got to see her true colors yeah. of, because we didn't really know if she, was she really helping, um, you know, Sam and Dean? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, but now we know for sure mm -hmm. she's on their side and, um, yeah, I liked that. Yeah, I also like the, uh, I actually like the lore of the demons. That's something that I thought, for some reason I thought I could explain later on in the series. But it is like every human is a de or every demon is a human or was a human, and it's because of what hell does to you, which you kind of think oh it's just torture. But I I don't know how they explain it, but I think their take on hell is very interesting, you know. Um. Okay. Also about this demon thing. Okay. So, th you know, a bunch of girls who live in the suburbs they find a book mm -hmm. and they read it. And they, know, said, they no. find out that, oh, good things can happen to me if I pray to this thing or whatever. But so they didn't know that they had to sell their soul. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, that's some sort of that, that witch, witchcraft or demon stuff they probably would hide. I kind of feel like they did the same thing in Buffy at some point in that show. Like you make a deal that you didn't realize you made a deal of, you know. But just, that's it, not fair, though, because I feel like I feel you fair. didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like it, it, it felt like if it. But then again, it doesn't make sense though because if you are doing witch stuff and you're praying to something, mm -hmm. that means you're believing in it, right? Yeah. So that means they also, they should have believed in what they were saying, meaning that they had to give up their soul. This is, they, they probably didn't know. I mean, it could be some small print, stuff like that. I mean, it's not, it's mm -hmm. not like a far-fetched to think that someone will lie to get more stuff out of you. Hell, I feel like insurance companies and... Uh, mortgage people do the same thing. They have like a hidden rate or something like that. You didn't know, like a credit card or something like that. It's like, what well, you guys didn't tell me? That's not fair. It's like, you know, so that's how they get you. You know, they wanted to tell you. Um, also, it also explains too that uh, you've been asking throughout the season, like, why is Sam changing? And it is he's changing more to Dean. You know? Yeah. Because I've been mentioning that yeah. because I feel like I feel like he is changing. Yeah. And so I'm glad that cause I don't think they do anything. With that storyline, I think with the yellow eyed demon said, Oh, is it that really is Sam? I think he was just fucking around with him because I can tell you, I think this episode kind of confirmed it. He didn't do nothing. That's truly is Sam, you know? Okay. Um, it's just uh, he the, the changes is him preparing to be without Dean. That's what it is, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, also, I like the um, fact that she did, I mean, for some reason, I thought there was a way to save him. But I like how she said there's no way to save him from going to hell, you know? So, uh, that's something that's very interesting. I thought that she was going to do something. I like that, I know I, know I already said that I liked Ruby and stuff like that, yeah. but we got to see the lore of yeah. her, of where her character started. Yeah. And I liked that about how, you know, she was doing the plague times. Yeah. And so, I, I like that we got some more backstory on her, so mm -hmm. that was well, nice. This is definitely not a filler episode. This is one of those episodes that... It's no, this... Yeah. I feel like this was important. Yeah, yeah. For sure. That's something about yeah. Supernatural is, like I said, they have a lot of filler, a lot of, like, you know, uh, case weeks, which that's why the show is really good. But I, I would say half the season is about uh, that stuff, and then the other half is about the story. That's why you. Can, I feel, but I also feel like you can't miss an episode because you don't. You don't know if yeah. it's important or not. So yeah. you just gotta watch it all. <laughs> that's one thing. That's why I really love Supernatural. It's one of my favorite shows because it is. Uh, you you can literally just jump into a season, and I, I mean sometimes you really need to know the backstory. But I kind of feel like you could just watch any season and pick up from there. You know, mm -hmm. it's sure like twenty four. You know, like really you could just watch any season of twenty four. You don't really have to watch the very first episode of twenty four. You know. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, this is a very good episode. If you guys want to yeah. check out the Patreon. Link's in the description down below. Hey, this is, uh, oh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.